Do not try this at home. We are trained professionals. You've heard it before. Water and electricity don't mix. So don't blow dry your hair while you're taking a bubble bath. And definitely don't practice your high dives in a swimming pool during a lightning storm. While water does conduct electricity, water itself is not an electrical conductor. Here's Katie, our resident water whiz, to tell you more. Water is a transparent and nearly colorless chemical substance that is the main constituent of Earth's streams, lakes, and oceans, and the fluids of most living organisms. Though water is well known for its conductive properties, it is actually the impurities in the water that are responsible for those qualities. Pure distilled water on its own is actually not a conductor of electricity at all due to its lack of impurities. However, adding salt to water turns it into a great conductor because salt water is an electrolytic solution. When sodium chloride dissolves in water, the water separates the positively charged sodium ion and the negatively charged chloride ion. Let's see what happens when we introduce 480 volts to a cup of water. Not a whole lot happening. Now let's add the salt. As we increase the voltage, you will start to see more of a reaction. Intentionally added chemicals in table salt, such as sodium ferrocyanide and potassium iodide, caused the color of the water to change once the voltage was applied. If we had used pure sodium chloride instead, that color change effect would not have occurred. Oh yeah, now we're making waves. That's all for today. Tune in next time to see what we test next.